Hey guys, what's going on? Got another nice long drive today, but I wanted to make uh, an announcement and then also kind of part two off of um, you know a video I did the other day about the mountain of cash that you know 9.9 out of 10 detailers walk right past. So number one, want to let everybody know that. This evening, we're going to be opening up the Million Dollar Detail Academy coaching conference to some guests. Um, so I'll, I'll drop the link to that. Um, we're only going to be able to allow a few people in there um, to check it out. So it's going to it's going to be on a first come, first serve basis. Hey Matt, what's going on, man? Just letting you know we're opening up uh, the the Academy group coaching conference tonight to guests. Going to drop the link in the comments after this. Um, only going to be letting a few people in there, so it's going to be a first come, first serve type thing. But if you want to be a fly on the wall, you want to see what's going on, you will have the ability to do that this evening. Just want to let everybody know that. But two, I wanted to um, kind of caveat off of the mountain of cash I talked about the other day that all the detailers were walking by. So if you didn't see that, basically what I was saying is, you know, a lot of detailers focus so much time on their cold prospects, people that don't know the importance of detailing, that don't, you know, they don't, they, they absolutely have no idea that their vehicles need to be taken care of and there's more convincing to be done. Maybe they kind of know they want it clean or whatever, right? But they're for the most part oblivious um, to detailing, to the importance of it, and, and especially to your business and why you're important, right? So a lot of detailers will spend their time doing that um, and, and usually don't even know it, right? So a lot of them will say, well, I'm focusing on people that I know, you know, will have the money for my services or they have nice cars or, um, you know, whatever. I'm going door to door in these nice neighborhoods or whatever it is. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're, you're getting in front of warm prospects, right? Um, you know, for instance, you could say, okay, well, my clients are people that are wealthy. They, they do wealthy people things. They have nice cars, whatever the case may be. And so you say, well, I'm going to go to this, um, I don't know, super high-end neighborhood, right? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to host a, a barbecue out there or something of that sort, right? And so people will assume, okay, these, this has to be people that are my dream clients, right? Because they've got a lot of money, they live in a nice neighborhood, they're all pulling up in Porsches and Mercedes and this and that, right? But that's that couldn't be further from the truth, right? So to give you kind of an, of an example, um, when I first started out detailing and I was trying to get customers, trying to find these, uh, I, I primarily focused on the RV market, right? And so what I did um, at first was I was posting in all of these buy sell trade groups on Facebook and free platforms and stuff pitching RV detailing right and I would get responses from that I sold details that way <clears throat> I did get RV details in off of those buy sell trade groups but nine times out of ten people would respond to me and um, you know at this time too I wasn't very good at writing ads or closing deals but they'd respond to me we talked forever and then nothing would happen right but I'm sitting there thinking okay look all right I'm in these buy sell trade groups there's thousands of people in here okay people are responding to me clearly this is um, you know my warm prospects right these are the people that need me that know that I'm important but that really wasn't the case where I ended up finding a lot of success with that was going where these people actually congregate at. So you might think initially, okay, you know, wealthy people congregate in wealthy neighborhoods with their nice cars, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're they're on to you know their need for detailing, right? So where I had my my biggest success finding these RVs was one in RV parks, but not like not, not necessarily the ones where you just camp out or live. You know, there's a lot of people that will have like small campers or RVs that they rent on a lot. Not that, not that type of park. Ones where people are like vacationing out of town to watch the football games or to go tailgating, something like that. 
And another place where I had a ton of success is in climate controlled storage facilities, right? So places where they're literally paying to preserve their RVs or their boats and whatnot. They've got them in a climate controlled storage facility, you know, 10 out of 12 months in the year. Those are the kinds of people that clearly understand the importance of it, right? So they know that they have a problem Right, which is the depreciation of their RVs, oxidating or oxidation uh, on their RVs. The sun's bad for it. That's why they're not keeping it outside. That's why they're paying $300, $500, $600 a month um, to store it in these facilities. Okay. So the point I'm trying to make is to really get in front of your warm prospects. You're, you've got to you've got to understand. Where, they, where, where they're hanging out at, where they're congregating, right? And so that's not, I'm trying to explain this in the clearest terms, but that's not always necessarily in a wealthy neighborhood or at the golf course or, um, you know, what, what whatever other things people come up with knocking on all of these doors, right? The people that are apt to to pay for your services to buy detailing, they're going to already be doing something of the sort to protect their vehicles. And so you'll find them a lot easier by going to, I want to call it list owners, right? So for instance, the RV park, right? Where these people are coming out and they're paying several hundreds of dollars a month to come out here and tailgate for these football games, right? Or to vacation out here. Um, the owner of that park basically has an infinite source of RVs for me, right? And these are people that are already spending cash to best enjoy their RVs, right? They're not just parking them in their garage in their neighborhood and I'm walking up and knocking on the door. Or they're, uh, they're storing them in these climate controlled storage facilities, okay? So they've, they're, they're already taking action towards this. So that's a really easy way to identify whether or not they're just a completely cold prospect that know absolutely nothing about detailing or protecting their stuff or whatever, right? Whatever the, your case may be. Um, it's a lot easier to just go and find someone or some place that already has a big congregation of them. So other examples would be maybe um, a bunch of Porsche owners and they're in a Facebook group dedicated to, you know, keeping up with your Porsche. So, and you can find billions of these, right? You can go onto Facebook and find a ton of them, um, or onto Reddit or whatever, where there's groups of these Porsche owners who will be talking about, hey guys, um, what's the best oil to use, or you know, how often are you guys changing your oil? What tires are you guys riding to to keep it smooth? and quiet on the highway and then occasionally there's going to be a little pop-up of just scratched my Porsche. I'm trying to keep the leather condition. What do you recommend, right? And so there you are, right? Directly in front of these people who are clearly warm traffic and your ideal dream client. So it could literally be just as simple as walking into the storage facility, going to um, some Porsche car meet, going uh, you know, into a forum a Facebook group, anything like that, though, those are the best ways to really get in front of your warm prospects, the people that really want to buy your stuff, okay? Um, just assuming on the fact alone that maybe they have a nice car or a nice boat or a nice RV or whatever doesn't necessarily mean jack because I've met plenty of people with cash, nice RVs, nice cars, trucks, boats, whatever the case may be, and they sit out in the, the driveway and they rot, right? Or they don't clean them or whatever. So it's just a lot easier um, to go where they're already congregating at, where they're all grouped up together and they're already making some sort of effort towards keeping up with their stuff, right? Um, and I don't want to ramble on too long and make it confusing or, you know, get off of the topic, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and I'll probably do another video explaining it a little bit more. But if you got any questions, anything else you want to add, something you want me to follow up, another video, some content ideas, you can drop that in the comments. Also, again, we're going to open up the Million Dollar Detailer Academy 
coaching conference tonight to some guests to have a kind of fly on the wall experience to see what's going on and any tips or strategies or ideas you get off of us in the process uh, you've got those you've got those on me tonight so I'm gonna drop the sign up link it's gonna be first come first serve obviously I can't let you know all 80 of you guys in there it would be impossible um, but the first few that sign up we are gonna let join in uh, as a guest tonight on the conference and I'll drop that below so anyways Thanks for watching, guys. Get out, hustle. Hope you have an awesome day. Till next time. Bye.